Alberta is grizzly bear country. They're a common sight, especially in the Rockies, but their numbers are fragile. Habitat loss has put Alberta populations under threat and kept them classified as a species at risk for years. This summer, Alberta researchers will be setting a different sort of trap in order to track them. They'll be heading out to sites across central and western Alberta and the eastern slopes in an attempt to lure the bears out from the trees. The science relies on the animal's reliable attraction to things that stink, including berry-scented bait, fish fertilizer, and rotten cow's blood. And something these furry beasts have in ample supply, their hair. Researchers will be setting up hair snag sites across the province this summer. Mounds of moss and sticks are doused with a smelly attractant that proves irresistible to any bear that passes through. Each site is lined with barbed wire, so when a bear comes to investigate, some of its furry coat will be left behind. Crosses the barbed wire, and when they cross the barbed wire, they leave a little tuft of hair, um, and that's what we're looking to collect. And then once they get to the pile, as you'll see in the videos, they often injure, to, injure themselves and have a little robe or a roll. Um, so everybody wins. We get our hair, and the, the bears get a bit of enjoyment out of it as well. DNA is collected from each hair sample, along with a hormone analysis. The results provide a snapshot of bears on the move, their overall health, age, and productivity. The five-year study is entering its second season, but builds on decades of previous research. The result is a massive genetic database that has archived the DNA profiles of thousands of bears and tracked generations of genetic lineages. This gives us an idea of survival of different bears, it gives us an idea of productivity, and it gives us an overall idea of how the population is doing. So it's, it's very useful information. The government says its efforts to restore grizzlies to the landscape are working, that more than 1,000 of them now roam the province. But researchers, meanwhile, are hoping their study will help refine the way we track those fragile populations and encourage more government investment in grizzly research. Grizzly bears remain at risk, and biologists say consistent monitoring is critical to conservation and ensuring these furry giants can thrive in Alberta. Wallace Snowden, CBC News, Edmonton.